Why can't the Olympics just be the Olympics? Why can't people just go do what they've been practicing for four years now and just that be it? Why do we have to have a drag queen thing making fun of the Last Supper? Uh, why do we have to have men who are too pathetic to beat other men parading around as women and beating women like like just so bad, like, like by massive amounts? Why do we have to have, like, what is this? Why, and why do people support it? I don't understand this at all. I, especially the, the pathetic men, if you can call them that, it's like chicks with <laughs> Like, why, why, like, why is this allowed? I don't understand it. So I'm not watching the Olympics. It's in Paris, which I have zero interest in. So I watched the Tokyo Olympics just because Tokyo is interesting to me. France, you know, not really. What has happened? Why is this a thing? Why does this exist? And why, especially like, I see a lot of women like supporting this. Like, why are you supporting men taking over women's sports? You are never going to win. Like never, ever. I, I, Serena Williams was in an interview one time with David Letterman, I think it was. And she, asked, she was asked by Letterman, like, do you uh, practice with men? And I think she said, yeah. And she's like, would you compete with men? She's like, no, I couldn't even beat like the 700th ranked tennis player in, you know, tennis. And now we've got, <sighs> this is driving me nuts. I mean, I've seen in UFC fights, some women have gotten like paralyzed, I think, or, or like severely injured, neck broken by fighting, and then there was a couple that wasn't even revealed that it was a, a, a transgender until after the fight, after this woman's neck was broken and another one, uh, her jaw was broken. What? Like what? Like you, it, it, it's like biology, it does not lie, right? You, biology does not lie. You are not going to compete with a man if you're a woman. It's just not going to happen. It's just not the way we're built. It's not, that doesn't mean make anybody better or worse than the other one, but it's just not a reality that we, like I, the, this weird reality that we live in when we got drag queens, you know, parading around at the Last Supper, I, I'm not gonna show a picture of it. I didn't look the pictures up. I just heard about it. I'm making this video. I'm not giving it any kind of views whatsoever. Although I probably have to look it up to make a thumbnail. Damn it. All right, so I'm gonna probably have to look it up to make a thumbnail, but my goodness. How, like, and, and put yourself in the place of these athletes who are not a part of any of this. Don't wanna be a part of any of this. You just done trained your entire life for this Olympics that you want to get seen at. And uh, you, they got drag queens parading around. I mean, France, when I think of Paris, I think of like theft and like, you know, just crazy. I guarantee something's gonna happen during this Olympics because they don't monitor anything. Oh man. This is nuts. It's nuts. Like, why are we here? Like what has, what, what level of mind control are we at to have this as a normal thing? Now, I guarantee the views are down completely. And the only people watching this is people who support this, probably, or the people who have family members in the Olympics who just trained their entire life to be in the Olympics. And they, uh, now they got all this other nonsense going on. Uh, like, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Why, why can't we just like have gymnastics and swimming or whatever else is in the, the, the Summer Olympics, I almost said Winter Olympics. Oh, it's just crazy, nuts. I'm tired of it, I'm like so tired of it. Like I talk about diet normally, but I think I'm just gonna start talking about this stuff more. Maybe I gotta start another channel. Which is a pain in the ass. But wow. Why they gotta ruin everything? Why they gotta ruin everything? If you really need to have, you know, like th this used to be in freak shows, right? This, like th they've gotten rid of all the freak shows because of how terrible it was for the animals. But like, if you still want a freak show, just have your freak show and don't have the animals. I guess these people will like animals. Like just go put yourself in a tent somewhere and act, do your freakish thing. You know, like it's crazy. Like, and then they got this stuff in like schools and stuff. And like, really, are you kidding me? Like if I had kids in school with this stuff, 
<laughs> I would be on national TV, I'll tell you what. And, oh, man. La, la, la. A lot of this is stemmed from the fact that they've like really just destroyed the hormones of humans with the crap water that we have, with everything that's in the air, with everything that we eat. Like when men were men, th this was not gonna happen. Like when men were men, it's crazy because most of the, like a lot of women are speaking out about this, but the men are like, they're, they're dressing up as drag queens and uh, you know, competing in women's swimming. This is what the men are doing right now. <laughs> Not speaking out about how pathetic it is. Like if you are, if you are dressing up as a woman and competing in sports just because you suck so bad in, in the male version of it, you are pathetic. I don't, I don't care, you are pathetic. It's pathetic. I don't know what goes on mentally to allow you to do this sort of thing. It's re like ridiculous. If that was my kid, oh boy, whew, that was my kid. Ah, they'd have another thing coming, I'll tell you what. Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm the most unpolitically correct person you're ever gonna meet in your life. I've tried to keep it politically correct on this channel. I just can't do it anymore. I just can't do it. I just can't watch this anymore. I, I just can't do it. Cannot do it. Oh man, I might have to start another channel. Oh man. I can't wait to see what train wreck this is gonna be. It's gonna be a train wreck because Paris already, I don't need their police. I don't know what they do. Like they're in, from what I saw, I'm not there. Their entire library got burned down by, my, by immigrants. <laughs> How do you let that happen? Oh, man. This is just a culmination of like, I just like, I wasn't gonna talk about this kind of stuff and then I see that or I heard about that and I'm like, wow, wow, wow. I used to love the Olympics. <sighs> Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, I'm sure the comments might be interesting. Who knows? Whatever. But. Wow. Yeah. They're dressing up as women. Like, why are you supporting this? Why are you? And like, I've seen so many women who support this. So why are you doing it? You're never going to beat us. I don't care. I mean, I remember, I remember when I was first getting back into bike riding, uh, and I was, I was in, I was 275 or something like that. This was back in 2016. I was like 275, hadn't really ridden a bike in a long time. I we, the, the ex and I moved so often. I'm like, I'm so tired of dragging these bikes everywhere. So I sold them all, and I stopped riding. I really wasn't riding that much anyways because it worked so much. And so my chiropractor got me back into cycling. And I'm like, all right, so, and I'm right, there's this track in Trexler Town, Pennsylvania, by the same people who make like Reiner's World and everything, they get this one mile track, and it's right across from the, uh, the velodrome, which is like one of the best velodromes in the country. And there was this team of women, and I'm riding, just riding, 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 riding. And this team of women, I mean, they were built. They were, they were, like, they did this sport. Like, this is what they did. You could tell. They were, all, they all had like these brown bibs on. They all matched, and they had provided a good view. So I'm like, I'll just keep up with this view. But th like, I realized that they were riding too slow. I hadn't ridden a bike in like five years. This is the first time I had ridden bike in like five years. They were riding too slow. I blew right past them. And these women train every day. You got 275 pound me on a cross training bike. They're on like these streamlined like uh, tarmac uh, bikes by um, spe uh, Specialized. And I blow past them like they're not even there. I wasn't even wearing, I was, I was wearing something like this. 
blow right past them. They, could, they, I, they couldn't even keep up with me, who hadn't ridden a bike in five years, on a bike that's not even for racing. And I, I was lapping them. I was lapping them. Now, yeah, I have endurance like crazy. My hemoglobin's like an 18.2. But they, no way, no way. If you got somebody in shape, like at their weight range, I mean, these women weighed like half, they were like half my weight, if not less. And they, they couldn't even, they couldn't even keep up with me. And I could tell they were trying, because they were mad. They got this fat dude on a bike. They, they can't even keep up with them, right? And you got the, the Olympics. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I think I've blabbered on long enough, but that is my thoughts on that. Drag queens uh, at the Last Supper. Like, why are they there? Why? Anyway, that's it. Peace. Talk to you in the next one. Oh, man. Oh.